first Samuel chapter 10 start from verse 5 listen very carefully as the message is going on God will be speaking to most of you and God told me this message is for 12 persons 12 the two on top the 12 they are not here they are watching online we are live isn't it they are watching online the two of the 12 they are watching online they know they the, the two they are watching the many 10 are here and watch what is going to happen any word that strike you write it down this is not just a church it's not come to and shout fire this is school the school of the spirit the school of god as the word is coming take your pen and as you judge the message still think of as the word comes separately to you find somewhere write it and circle it first somewhere ten from verse five a little story of a man called Saul he's a son of Kish and a donkey got missing and the father said you know when when God wants to find you he makes something to get missing many of you were found while looking for something missing in you mm. uh, what are my son Elechi victory Elechi they stole his phone so he was looking for who stole his phone and someone told him go and meet a prophet he's a prophet in this school he will tell you to your phone some people are very eh? <laughs> and he's not even a Christian just living life so they came to me so now they see people with a stiff phone <laughs> I never pay school fees <laughs> why can't God show me where to see money so when he came to me I said, I don't know where your phone is. But I know where your soul is. Your soul is heading to hell. He said, sir, he said, your soul is lost. Stop pursuing phone. Stop looking for who stole your phone. Your soul is lost. There is a call of God upon your head. And you have been running from. I have not finished talking. He began to on the floor. And that was how today the gospel have taken him to victory look what is in UK he came for phone and he got a life sometimes God will intentionally let something get missing so you can come out and look for it why looking for it you find yourself why looking for a guy who left you you realize he doesn't want it <laughs> Why pursuing a girl who left you? You realize you wasted your time pursuing her. You will find someone better. Am I communicating? So, why he met somewhere? Somewhere told him, the donkey you are looking for has been found. But there is something God has brought you for. So, have you scripture on the slide? Get me the scripture. So, why he came to him? Samuel told him that you are the missing king of Israel. And if you think, imagine you walking on the streets. You see black jeep just back around you. He said, what happened? He said, you are the governor of River State. How? He said, God told the present governor to appoint you as his next. <laughs> so you are the next governor. From nowhere, how will you feel? I'm from there, government house. And the next day, you are appearing in your father's house in Cyrene. All of a sudden, sudden change. He didn't believe it. And somewhere told him, how to know God has spoken. You will see signs. Somebody say signs. Say signs. You will see signs. 
you will see three men at a particular place. They will give you wine and they will give you bread and they will greet you. He saw the sign. It came to pass. He said, wow, true, true, I am the king. He told him, you will see another sign. All the sign that was given to him all came to pass. But there is this sign I want to talk to us about. This sign was not just a sign. It was an, an impartation to bring to pass what was prophesied. He said, you will see a band of prophets and you will join them. And as you join them, you will begin to prophesy. Association can transfer a gift. Association can transfer a cause. Association can give you a problem you don't know about. Associ Association can bring you deliverance. Be careful of who you meet. Especially if there are more than one. Because we are two or three are gathered. Is present. Chukuna kama miye oyeke le nigueno. Now reke le naro tito mo ijebube. Now reke le. First Samuel now 10 verse 5. Can I see it? Can someone read for me? With a loud voice. Can someone read for me? Go ahead. Thou shalt come to the hill of where? Of God. Go ahead. All right. Come to the city that thou shalt meet a company of who prophets coming down from the high places with a mystery and a tablet. Oh God, sir, if you have a destiny, look for men from the high places. Yeah. <laughs> If they told you you will go far, look for men who have gone far. If they told you you will go far, look for men who have gone far. That is where the area of mentorship is very powerful. Nobody in the family has gone far. No one knows how America look like. Want to go to America? You don't even know how to even get visa. And all your friends have not crossed Gabon. If you want to go far, Come close to men who have either gone far or who are connected to those high places. Check your circle. Check your circle. Who has gone far? If nobody, you are going nowhere. Pray up and down. God must use someone. Example, you are single. You are single. All your friends don't have plans to marry in the next five years. Both male and female. Nobody has marital view. <laughs> no one has marriage in view. Even in the next ten years. And all they are your friends. But you, you had marriage view since last five years. You are even late. But all your friends, you... <laughs> You want to make it look for those who have made it, or those who know those who have made it. Am I communicating? One of the biggest errors in life that youth make is to abuse everyone who have made it in life. Anyone you see who have made it, ah, Ogwego, you can never rise. Any girl you see with a jeep, ah, Ashawo. <laughs> so, so no girl can prosper now. Eh? Until she becomes what? Read on. You will meet men 
band of prophets who are coming down from the hills. Fresh. Fresh. Ah. Go ahead. And the pipe and the harp before them, and they shall prophesy. They, they don't just prophesy with music. With music. Stay your anointing, sir, once in a while. Okay. Is here, finally. Okay, next verse, verse 6. And the Spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and shall be turned into another man. Meeting men turns you into another man. If you have not turned, you have not met men. Meeting men turned them into another man. Even people were shocked and they were wondering. And someone asked Saul, somebody from his past life, someone who knows what they do, and said, He saw also a prophet. Most of you climb the altar and you minister, and your old friends who know your past, they sit down and begin to mock you. Don't be, don't be moved by mockers, be moved by your maker. Go ahead. And let it be when these signs, somebody says signs, come unto thee, thou shalt do as occasion safety. New King James says, thou shalt do as occasion demands. Sir, you can manifest as occasion demands until you have encountered signs. Until you have encountered the prophets, until you have encountered some men, certain men gives you power to perform when occasion demands. Am I communicating? Ah, ah. Isaiah seven verse fourteen. Many of us here now the those twelve persons begin to rise. Life is full of demand. So many things to do. The worst thing that can happen to a youth is to have so many choices confusing you. So many options. So many things to choose from. You are confused on what to do. You are confused of where to join. Now you have seen so many band of prophets. You don't know which one to join. <laughs> uh, I want to join church. I don't know if God is leading me. I want to marry. I don't know if God is leading me. It's time to move. I don't know if it's God leading me. Let me give you seven signs to know if God is leading you. I know this has been a problem of, of most of us. Yes or no? Uh, it has been a problem. It has been a problem. How do I know? God is moving me out of here. And people will tell you, don't go, don't go, don't go. How do I know? It's time to move. For where you are, it's time to move. Expansion. How do I know it's time to move? And how do... I know you are called into the ministry. But you need to be sensitive to know when to start. If you begin before time, you will end before your time. Am I, am I communicating here? How do I know this business? I should start it now. How do I know? Let's deal with science first. So we can begin to do as occasion demands. First sign. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing. And hearing again. So one first sign you know something is prompting you to do something is when you keep coming across a particular word in the Bible. Anytime you open the Bible, one word keeps repeating itself. 
maybe one name maybe one English name or maybe one particular name one particular word keep repeating itself maybe about music maybe about discipline maybe about culture maybe about Jesus so one word keep repeating faith come by hearing you enter Facebook you are seeing same post am I communicating you are seeing you just log in. you didn't tell anybody about what you are going through you log on Facebook you are seeing just the same that is ringing in your am I communicating you read the scripture, you are seeing it. You come across books they are selling on the road. On the road, you are seeing the same title of the book. <laughs> God, 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 God gives you signs. You must not hear from God all day play. Am I communicating here? You you mustn't hear all day play. You can walk, you cannot see. Maybe example when I watch a movie. The guy was to die. So when you move around, you will see death now. He will see you will die. You come across, he will see something. You watch a movie. Somebody is killing somebody. So he was seeing all these signs until he died. God does not leave you to experience life without signs. Only careless people get into a trap who did not read signs. Am I communicating here? Sometimes, even as as simple as neighbor lights, before light go, there are signs. Iron your clothes, you know, green. Charge your phone now, you know, green. You the press some light day. It's fifteen percent charge now. No way. Something is telling you steady light. But you are seeing the sign somehow until the sign becomes too much. You say, Man, let me plug this in before. And one of the signs that you only respect is when it begins to rain. And when that begins to blow, you say, eh, surely is now. <laughs> surely. When you observe one recurrent sign keep happening that you can even guess when the next one will happen. Just know that there is something God is calling you towards it. As simple as Nepal. <laughs> when you keep what did I say? When you keep coming across what? A particular word in the Bible. Faith coming by hearing. Number two, when people keep telling you the same thing. The Bible says, 2 Corinthians 13 verse 1. He said, This is the third time I am coming to you. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be what? Established. Anybody you go for advice, they tell you one thing. Everybody is telling you your life is not good. <laughs> And you keep he said, Don't worry, don't worry. Everybody tells you this man you want to marry, no be him. Is a sign. Am I communicating here? Is a sign. They keep telling you this school you won't go. Are you sure this jam? Most of you who stop only went ahead after hearing so many things. Not one person said good about that thing. You come to realize at the end that thing failed. Because the voice of the people most times is the voice of God. Am I communicating here? Your mentor is telling you the same thing. Your father has told you the same thing. Your grandfather has told you the same thing. Your enemies have told you the same thing. You said, no! He that, he that is in me. He that is in you have not even told you anything. Why can't you listen to the ones who are not in you? Depending when the one in you will speak. But one thing is sure in life, you can't be stagnant. Keep moving. Oh. Oh, good. Hey, you write jam, no way. You are praying for God to tell you if it's to enter school or not. Start something else until when God speaks on that one. Am I communicating here? Start something else. Don't wait. There is a difference between waiting on God 
and waiting for God. Don't wait for God. Wait on God. <laughs> I should give you the difference. <laughs> eh? That way we will do a program that will wait on God and wait for God. We will come for that day. But there is a difference between wait for God and wait on God. Many are waiting for God.
watch signs, watch signs. Christians, watch signs. You are busy, watch signs. You come out in the morning, you sweep your, your passage properly, but you come out, you saw a, you, 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 again, a bad matter. You just open door and you are, you say, ah, I was very much sure I swept this place. What is bats doing here? What is feather doing here? What is blood doing here? Step backward and ask who had wound in the house. Person wound, person wound. If nobody wound, carry your bottle of olive oil. Matule kapakataya. I don't take chances. I don't know if it's mosquito. If it's mosquito, if it's mosquito, thank God. If it's not mosquito, any power from hell Jesus. that tell you my mistake. I set you up. I neutralize your power. Don't take chances. You open your wedding gift. You open one empty container. It's empty. No charm. No nothing. It's just empty. Don't take chances. Everyone that wants to project emptiness in my family, don't take chances. Don't take chances. It can be an empty grave. We are too careless. We are too careless. We are too careless. Number four. What number is that? This one is the shop log. First Samuel. 3 verse 8. And the Lord called Samuel again the third time. Someone said the third time. How to read signs. This is the shortest plug when God speaks audibly to you. Samuel, he got up, called me. Samuel, see, God is so patient. No matter how long you have delayed in your call, he will, see, he will keep calling you. Don't say, uh, if God calls you and you miss the call, he will call someone else. They don't lie. Your mandate can be given to someone else. Mandates have been prepared before you were born. So God is not confused. Before the foundation of isn't it? Huh? If that person did not find, found or find, there will not be artificial intelligence in the world. It might come in another name or another form, but you will not hear it like this forever in the world. If that guy didn't do it, no other person would do it. If Facebook was not opened, no other person will open Facebook. We might have other equivalent social media. You're not following me. But you can't have Facebook. If you don't do it, 
it remains undone. It remains what? If you don't preach that message, it remains unpreached. Others might preach it, but they will not preach it the way you did or you would have done. Am I communicating here? Stamp your stomach and say, I will fulfill my call. Say, I will fulfill my call. Calling is not all about holding the mic. Those who founded that AI, they are not pastors. I don't know if it's real, but I heard that Elon Musk now has a hotel in Mass. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. That is to say, men no longer travel to other countries. Men now travel out of this earth. Oh God. How will rapture rapture the oh, oh. oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh if rapture happened, how would they go? Or are they closer than us? Or God go forget them? I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just joking. No, I beg. <laughs> or when the six sixes come, how will the government locate them? They will bring them down from Mars. How did a man sit down? And the reason that it is possible to carry block and cement to mass. How did you get building material? Bring it down. How? I don't know if I'm correct, but I saw pictures of the hotel. Oh my God. Or is it a building plan? So how do you intend to store it? So many madness of creativity going on. But all we do, Shalabo, Shogede, Jesus, give me belly. I don't know. Let the balance. Hey! Hey! Father, show me something that will announce my family name. Not inside church. Not inside church. Next year, I will move around my streets and tell them I want to teach all their children free Wayek lesson, chap lesson, junior Wayek lesson. So the day I pack out of that place, so the day somebody will grow old, he will remember I was instrumental to his Wayek. What are you doing to improve where you are living? Ah. It's not only... We have killed the devil. The devil does no longer exist. Demons are dead. Organize up. <laughs> Stop blaming Satan. We have prayed. God is not deaf. I pray for somebody. I say, I bind every family cause. Every spirit husband. I bind it. She went home. She gave me charge. Sir, how do I fight spirit husband? So it's like you didn't understand. This spirit husband. I said, I took 20 minutes praying for you. So God is deaf. Since I don't understand, I have gone to five different churches. I have we've done all kinds of I have bought things and thrown in the river. So you've done all this saraka for a devil. That is why your faith was not big enough to accommodate 20 minutes prayer. Because you have spent hours doing nonsense. Am I communicating here? I told her what you need is not prayer. What you need is faith. If they come to sleep with you in the dream, in job, I preached this thing in a program and they banned me from coming to that program. Because Africa want to suffer in prayers. When last pregnant woman for meat? No food. It's only in Hollywood now they vomit. When last you see someone vomit food out? 
Don't chop the way we Hunger will kill that Satan that makes you to vomit. You just try eat rice, fried rice and chicken. You vomit all of them. You will drink garity tomorrow morning. During the lockdown, did you dream of eating in the dream? Even demons don't have food to cook. They are locked down. I said it. You see yourself in the dream having sex. Get up, Father. Thank you for showing me my future sex life. They got offended. They got offended. Thank you, Lord. See, there is a way you can make the devil a caricature. I know it's a bad thing to sleep with someone in a dream. I know. But don't frown your face and begin to cry. Make a caricature of that devil. If they disown you, it's a bag, five will chop before I disown you too. You know? You make a joke of that disowning. Am I communicating here? If masculine pursue you, flood the police, it's, it's, it's a good time. And you are crying to me. I was about to leave masquerade. My way, masquerade, go flood them back. Find a way to make a joke of your problems. See, one person must give up. Either you or your problem. <laughs> yeah. A man was in his house, had a big house downstairs. He came down. And saw a demon that broke through his gates, broke through his doors and windows, and entered swelling. He said, Oh, huh, it is you. When you are done, close my door and, and go away. He climbed up and slept. <sighs> Oye Depo went for a program. As they opened the hotel room, two black bears flew out of the room. His boy said, Hey, Papa, don't enter. He said, This is the best place to sleep. You used to say two. There are two black bed. Now you have seen the black bed. You thought they were one. A baby no matter. Two black bed. Now you have seen them live. Can't you greet them? Can't you Peter and Paul? Call them Peter and Paul. Hey, Peter and Paul. Satan hates to be mocked. Satan hates to be ignored. Even as a preacher, you are preaching and somebody's holding on the floor. Ah, I am here. Thank you, Jesus, for she's out. Will she keep manifesting? Don't say, oh, you are still there. Say, please, this is confusion. It's not, the devil is no more here. He has gone out long time ago. What is showing now is the, half, the sign, the remaining packages. At the count of three, I won't tell it again. At the end of that three, I will say. So let them know that as you can't three finish, you will say it again. One, two, three, out. As you say out, focus something else. When the devil look through the girl and she say, don't leave him, he go leave the girl. Because most times, it may not even be the devil. Some of you, once you don't fall, 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 you begin to enjoy falling. You begin to enjoy falling. So, when the holy, 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 you know, grief, holy, 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 let one usher say, allow her to die. <laughs> Allow her to hit her head on that pole. Just as you remind her, the devil. <laughs> as you as you say, say just jokingly tell the ushers, Allah, Allah, make she jam her for this pole. As you say it, she will get herself. She will say, mm. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you, sir. Stop patronizing demons. He said, Oh. The power has moved from the head to the to the waist. Oh yeah, hold the waist, hold the waist. Oh, it has left the waist. It's now the oh, vagina. Ah, vagina. Then we go say, Chey, let's play with him. Let's go to the head. Now let's come to the butos. So you are playing my head, my shoulder, my knee, my toe with Satan. Cast it, Jordan. Leave that place. If you no go, please also take, take, take them to the vestry. When the devil find out that he or she is no more in the center stage, he's not in the restroom. Two minutes later, you will see them bringing the person. 
in the rest. Somebody say, I hear you. Don't die. I should carry my to preach one word. Pam. You say, come I told you I came prepared. They are, you didn't come prepared, they are deceiving you. I told you the fire I came with is a lie. Once you keep fooling yourself with those people that, that fell down, you have left the world. By the time you are done delivering them, even you, you are exhausted, you are tired, and time has gone. You end up saying, Today we couldn't preach the world. Holy Ghost took over. Holy Ghost, you take over. These are things we say. And religious gathering, we say we are we are being too. Sir, we have power. We we understand. We have to deliverance. Am I communicating here? Yeah? But we understand when it is encroaching. Am I communicating? If you don't know how to use your gift, your gift will not function. You can be highly anointed. If you don't know how to use it on stage, not, not, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. How to hear the sign? God's audible voice. Next. Your inner knowing. Your inner knowing. Your inner knowing. You somehow know that God is asking for a move. Just know. You didn't hear from God. But somehow there is a knowing that something is telling you or something is moving you to empty your account for something. You didn't hear from God. Nobody told you. You didn't see anywhere. But you just woke up and you just know. Somebody say inner knowing. Inner knowing. Hear this. The Bible says Joshua 2 verse 9 And she said unto the man I know that The Lord Had given you this land This is a prostitute Ashawo Rehab Told the man that God sent He said look They were even confused They were doubting themselves Don't forget the first set that came 10 Said they were giants only two. Am I communicating here? So, they not sent another badge. But this badge, they sent only two to avoid confusion. So when these two entered, Rahab, who used to receive men and sleep with them, saw customers and something in her, something, an inner knowing that said, these men are not customers. These men are custodians. They are not customers. They are custodians. They are takeover generation. They have come to subdue the land. And they will succeed. Even the two men were confused. She met them. And said I know. God. How does she know God? Let a prostitute from Azikiwe come and tell your pastor or elder that she knows he is God. <laughs> or he will move forward. They will judge her first. See, I know. No one knew what they came for. It was a secret. A prostitute found out because of an inner knowing. She even lied to the king. That ask her, who are those men? She risked her life because of an inner knowing. I don't know. You didn't hear from God. You're not even a Christian. But something somehow tells you to get up and cross that road. Shooting will soon happen. As you cross, it happens. Yes or no? An inner, an inner knowing. As you live here, there are three of you here. There is an inner knowing for long in your mind telling you that something is set for you, but somehow you are still confused. You are still waiting for audible voice, you are still waiting for signs like Gideon, who said, Father, if this is you, let this thing be like this. We have passed that level. Ah, you can't keep tempting God like that. 
Where will you do impartation? Say, finish the word. See, after today, you will enter school. Hey. Hey, I got there. Yes, to come. I will tell you what God told me why, why I kneeling down here during the worship. He told me, You're looking for a hall. Get up, go and tell someone to give you a hall. That's what God told me. I said, It's difficult. But I will go and try it. I don't know. I don't know why you are delaying. Imagine if someone come and tell you now and tell you, I have been waiting for you since last three years. Just imagine someone telling you, you have been feeling that this person will do that thing for you. But every day, you pass the person. Every day, you pass the person. You are seeing all the signs. They greet you every day. In senior you, yes, they the greet you. In the greet you. In the greet you. In the greet you. He is waiting for you to talk. Ah! Somebody who senior you is greeting you. You don't yet know what's happening. He will greet you. He will bow down. He will greet you. He will ask you how is that thing? How is your business? Pride will let you open your mouth and say, That business you ask me now, it is not well. It is not well. It is not well. Ha! Oh, how do I'm. Are you? 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 One last way. You can notice the sign. It's when you have when you encounter blockage in destiny. When you encounter blockage in destiny, when that thing is not working, you have sown seed, you have done everything possible, it's not working. It's a sign that God wants you out of that place. You have tried, you have prayed, sir. Any purpose in life, any venture you give seven years that does not produce is a sign. It's a sign you are in the wrong place. No one should tell you how to keep the there's a light at the tunnel. You are in the wrong tunnel. <laughs> you will not see light. You are in the wrong tunnel. Now hold you there, not the tunnel. Now hold you day, no be tunnel. It has no light at the end. Bring it down. Seven years is enough giving to something. Seven years. Even addiction. To stop it. <laughs> Can I tell you something? You are doing ministry for seven years. Nothing. No one should tell you keep hustling, keep doing well. Uh, don't worry, even Abraham at, at 90. Sir! Be doing it, but find something else and add to it. Look at uh, 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 Pastor Zoma. Please give them a seat here. He's in comedy. It's not that he's not succeeding in comedy, he's succeeding. He has entered phone. In case. After seven years, I find out that I wasted my years in comedy. I will be celebrating six years in phone. You've seen, you've seen where a boy break up with you, and next year he celebrates four years anniversary with somebody else. Okay, okay, you. I'm just using that as an example. I'm not saying people is good. As you continue, sir. They took your 15 years. After breakup, they now celebrate five years. The next day. 
with somebody else. Which is to say, five years ago, you are dating yourself. They left you behind. So, that business you are doing, can you double, double date business? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I am a teacher. See, if after seven years I find out that this thing we are doing here is not working, I am 30 years or 15 years teaching. If I can't celebrate 10 years at environment, I celebrate 15 years teaching. I will not go back in life. From glory to from ministry to am I communicating here? He still does. He can even do social media advert for. He can even handle a page. Doing business, doing comedy. He's even a pastor in ministry. So <laughs> he's even a director of movies. So, so one boy is not up to 20, 20, 20 years. Let me not call his age. He's not up to twenty years. He's not up to 20 years. Yet, the same. It's like something tells him, if he does not stand up, nobody in the family can stand for him. Now, because you think, say, people will for your house, now make you day useless. Now, yes, yes. Now, because you get many uncle, when you know nobody is there, when you wake up in the night and you remember that nobody will do it for you, you will know you will have to get up and get to work. When you know when the money you can't finish, nobody can help you with Ogen 2K. You manage how you eat. Yes, sir. When your destiny encounter blockage, see this. Numbers 22 verse 13. And the ass said unto Balaam, Am I not thy own? <laughs> Upon which thou hast ridden. Have I ever done this to you? Hey. The donkey is talking to Balaam. Am I not your own? Ever since I am your own, have you seen me oppose you before? Why do you strike me? An angel is before you, trying to kill you. That is why I'm stopping to save your life. A prophet of God could not see God again. Why? He has got involved. Even in your sin, that you cannot see God again. God can still use other things to still speak and save your life. God loves you so much that even if you use your own hand and blind your eyes from seeing him, he will tell someone to see for you. He can't let you be. God is so loving. The donkey spoke for the first time. Because he was going to take bribe. Donkey stop. He pushed donkey. Donkey refused. He now strike the donkey. Donkey spoke. They strike me. Since I be donkey, you don't even see me. I refuse to go. Which means the donkey expected him yes. to sense a sign that you can never see a donkey reject movement. But when it happens, it means something is involved. When you see a horse push you backward, that has never happened before. Know that the horse has seen the spirits. You are seeing a dog backing before an empty wall. And you are there saying, Bingo John, Bingo John, leave the wall and come back. Leave the wall and come back. And the dog kept backing. It means he's seeing something your senseless sense can't see. can't see. Donkey say an angel. When your business or something you have tried to push is not working. Either you add something else to it or or you move on. Or you do what? You move on. 
the same something that tore a lion like paper. The same something. He didn't do anything. Chains that they didn't tie him fell off like water. The same something who just came down from Dorime fornication having sex with a prostitute he came down carried the gate of a whole nation not a gate of a house a mighty gate protecting a country he pulled it from the wall carried on his shoulder climbed the mountain got there and dropped it the same Samson who took a bone, short bone, killed 1,000 men who are carrying sword and chariots. But he fell in love. But he fell in love. It was not bad that he fell in love. But he trusted people. But he showed people love. And because of this, he became vulnerable. Sometimes, being too good, being too lovely, makes you vulnerable. You cannot say no. Everybody must use you. Makana Saya. It's not about sex. The last card you hold, you always give it out. How would they feel now? How would they do? How would they do? They will give you call. I am somewhere. I am dying. If you truly love me, they add blackmail to it. If you show you love me, show me. Will you see me quench and die? Will you see me frustrate? Will you? Hey! You will not go and put hand where angels fear to put hand. Just to help somebody. At the end of the day, they will announce your name on Facebook. That you did something. Because where you put hand, no one knows. Just to help somebody. They will soon expose you. Oh. And when they expose you, the person you helped will not stand by you. The same person you help who also join others. Hey, that's what they do. My daddy, my daddy. Your baby is singing. I will be singing and dancing and shouting for the rest of eternity. Break it down. And it, and it came to a pass afterward that he loved the woman. Whose name was Delilah? For the rest I don't know son. who here. Your good heart oh, is the reason where you are where you are now. Your baby is singing. That is why good men die early. I will be singing and shouting because they were good men without wisdom. Add wisdom to your giving. Don't touch your savings because the story is touching. Don't touch your savings because the story is touching. I don't have, I don't have. You know, they be say, you know, day. You didn't day, you didn't day. Throw me up and down. You know, day. You know, day. Even if they see you eating chicken. He no see the no day. He no day. They say, "Boy, boy, they we ask you." So I don't go. We ask you again because, because. So I will be shy to wear clothes again because they give you money. He no day. He no day. You are not wicked, but you can't be naked to bless others. Same something. Hear this. Then she said, after she has done all she can, when he has fallen, she said, Philistines are upon you. 
he woke up thinking he can go out like other times to shake free he didn't realize that the good he has done has ripped away his power he didn't have sex so he was just there because he loved the woman he loved the woman don't forget the only woman he wanted to marry the family of the woman snatched him from him and his own best man in that wedding married his woman they didn't tell you the story Abby. Samson own best man married his woman that is the only woman he fell in love with he told his parents give me this woman give me this woman when they married the marriage broke on the marriage day the people took the hood the girl and gave it to his best man and because of this he had been jumping from one hotel to the other but finally he found a woman he loved the Philistines now went to her we have realized this man loves you so much can you help us they come to you we have realized you are close to Okona can you help us we have, we have come to find out you are close to the apostle can you help us beg him to give us something Anywhere, any there are four of you here. Your good work has brought you so much shame, and you have lost so many friends. You have lost so many friends. You you vowed never to help again, but you are still helping because your mumu is a, is is in your nature. You are just called to love. You cry. Nobody even show you the love you show others. The same Delilah he trusted to tell everything. Failed him three times. Yet he was trusting her. May God give you the heart to stand though. May God give you the heart to resist helping wicked people. Let me summarize. The Philistines grabbed him, removed his vision, removed his, treated him like a fool, and they kept him in the prison. But something happened. They did not realize that the hair was growing. Message Bible said, but his hair, though cut short, began to grow again. Hear me, you will grow again. Ah, yeah. You will. Ah, yeah. A good man does not remain poor forever. You might give and remain poor for a while. A giver never lacks. They gathered and organized an occasion. Rise to your feet. And sing and shouting for the rest of eternity. They gathered. Organize an occasion. Organize a program. And they called Samson. They said, go and bring that boy from the prison. Go and bring that other boy from the prison. And they brought him. Hold my hand. King James said, okay, message Bible said, go and bring him, let him come and show us stuff. Let him show us stuff. They brought Jesus to Herod and they were asking him, show us where we are touching you. Show, show us, son. Mocking him. And they held him. Take him. Uh -huh. And they stood him. He said, yeah. After drinking, and they were married. See, your enemies can be happy, but don't give up. Yes, sir. Happiness can last for a while. Ah. But joy comes in the morning. 
your enemies will not be happy forever. Something told the small boy they want me to give them stuff. As occasion demands. Show them. As occasion demands. Show them stuff. But, please, show me where the pillar is. Ah. Let me just lean against it. Let me show them stuff. And the boy laughed. <laughs> He's ready, oh. He's ready to show you stuff. I told you, I told you, you'll be ready. And they showed him the pillar. The two pillars holding the building. The Bible said 3,000 were upstairs. Jesus. Thousands were downstairs. So the pillar holding those upstairs. The pillar holding those upstairs. Holding the building upstairs that will come downstairs. He said, let me hold the wall. As he held the wall. Father. Avenge me. Avenge me. Your own case will be different. His own was, let me die with my enemy. Let me die with my enemies. Let me die with my enemies. Your own is, every problem they gave to me, let it die with them. You will come and lift up your hands. If I hold the hand of your neighbor, Ah. No, I'm led in the spirit. Hold the ground or hold the wall. Anywhere, hold something. See it as a pillar. For the rest oh, begin to pray. Eternity, yeah. Whatever in your family, oh, lover, oh, lover. any pillar in your household standing against your life Jesus. and your family, mark my words 24 hours from now. You will get a phone call. Amen. You know that God is here. Lift up your voice and put that down. Put that pillar down. Put that pillar down. My lover, my put lover. That down. Your baby is singing. Put put that pillar. I will be singing and I will be chanting for the rest of eternity. Put that Oh, Lordy, oh, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your baby, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, hear yeah, you yeah. singing and shouting and dancing for the rest of eternity. Hey! Hey! Oh, Lord, oh, Lord. Hey. Oh, baby, you see. Baka, 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 baka. I will be singing and shouting and dancing for the rest of eternity. Do that pillar now. Do that pillar now. My daddy, my daddy, daddy. your baby sing. I will be singing and shouting and dancing for the rest of eternity. Elisa, mama, 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 Eskebele da barana mashe gede bele gedila ege bele ele 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 a vengeance seed. Jesus. Lift up a vengeance seed. A vengeance seed. O kwa di sini ke buru mi bua. O kwa di sini ka bu ke mo. Vengeance seed. A vengeance seed. Is a Fire brought is a boobet. I'm so proud you found the one. Lift up that seed. Ah. A 
seed. A vengeance seed. God of vengeance. God of man. God of vengeance. God of man. Those that say they cannot live to see me, let them go down. Those that say they cannot live to see me, let them go down. I speak as a prophet. Ah. I see someone Jesus. take an animal. And two of them to a church. The church flower on the altar. To others is a church. Uh-huh. But that church is a shrine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They took the feather of the cow. Jesus. And joined in the Fabiaka. <laughs> Epotuku ibuke madu oyele mema epotuku ezele epotimo epotuku ibuke madu and the blue flower that feather that flower representing you that that is that anything that comes into your life will not stable like a feather will be flown away can I shock you the person that did that have taken you to that church 